Hi, it's Cam again. In this video we're looking at different stroke path techniques uh, using the pen tool, also using shapes and any anything that really creates a path. So you can create paths in many ways from a selection in the path palette, changing the selection to a work path, or just using the, the shapes tool which will create a path with the correct icon selected up the top left there and just using a, the pen tool we're able to use it in conjunction with the brush tool and by adjusting the brush settings and then we simulate pressure on and stroking the path we can create some really nice brush strokes. So you can experiment with using different brushes, different settings and having the pressure on or off and you'll get different effects that way. Uh, now we'll look at how we can use those nice strokes that we made to just make some patterns just holding ALT to duplicate the layer merging flipping horizontal rotating duplicating and now we have this now if we control select the layer thumbnail and then make a work path in the pass palette then go to edit define custom shape and we've made a custom shape and we can just test that out in the custom shapes palette okay now moving on just quickly laying down a perspective grid to see how I do this uh, you can look at a previous video on the pencil where I explain explain the process just speeding through that now we're going to use the pen tool and pass tool to create some nice perspective kind of industrial design drawing so I'm just sketching in with the pen brush lining it up with the grid that I made which is some really basic perspective drawing this will be my guide for going back over the lines this might actually teach you a bit about perspective just in what I'm doing here using other points to guide my drawing Making that cross from each corner of your rectangles will find the center points for you. Okay, now drop the opacity on that layer. I'm going to my pen and just adjusting my brush first. So it's got some nice, nice lines. Then pen tool and going over the over the grid that I've made and then stroking the path getting some really nice clean sleek lines so you can experiment with different line weights that you want in your drawing just going for the effect that you want to achieve so just repeating the process
use Alt with the pen tool to move the bezier points, they call them, those little handles that come off each point. And that'll help you guide the direction of the pen tool. So now using the circle, the circle shape with path mode selected. And now it is tilting it so it's a proper ellipse in perspective. Although it is still a bit awkward, um, it's not quite in perspective. This is a really good way to get wheels and other uses of ellipses in your work. So just stroking those paths. So if you're into industrial design rendering, this is uh, going to be pretty handy for you. Now we're going to look at how we can use another use for the brush presets and using brushes with our path. So I'm just making a kind of wonky looking cog here and we're going to turn this into a custom brush and then modify it so that we can use it as if it's like cogs or treads. So I'm just making a path here, lining it up with my lips, and then we're going to adjust the brush settings. So the brush settings are adjusting the spacing, and also in shape dynamics we're changing the angle jitter to direction, and that'll line it up properly. And you can see here how that works a bit better with something a bit less symmetrical. So that'll follow around and you can see there it's followed around the, the polygon there. So you can try the same method with custom shapes and get some really cool effects especially when you experiment experimenting with a variety of custom brushes. And now here just applying a, and using it as a decal on my concept car. You know, looking at that now, that back wheel is so wonky, the ellipse is completely wrong. <laughs> it's not in the right perspective. Anyway, so just making a, like a puzzle decal on there and you know put in a windshield. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope that was useful and I'm pretty tired so we're going to bed.